Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to pay your payroll liabilities in QuickBooks. So uh, this is going to be applicable uh, if you run payroll through QuickBooks and it's not the full service uh, payroll option. So the full service payroll option, they will pay your payroll liabilities, uh, they will file your forms, etc. And it can be very handy. It's kind of like using a service like ADP or Paychex or somebody like that. Uh, into it and QuickBooks will do this for you as well. Now, if you're considering that option, just a little word of caution, just my experience is uh, the service is okay and uh, support is not that great. So if you are considering using the Intuit full service payroll option, uh, it's not the best service out there, okay? But I do wanna show you in this video because a lot of business owners, uh, they run payroll through QuickBooks, but then they file the forms themselves and they make the payroll deposits themselves. Okay, so that's what I wanna walk through in this video is how to correctly do this in QuickBooks. All right, so this is assuming you have set up payroll, you are running payroll through QuickBooks. I'm not gonna go through how to do all that in this video. I do that uh, on the website at qbuniversity.org. Uh, as a member, I walk you through that uh, in pretty detailed fashion. So in this case, we're gonna pay the payroll liabilities. All right, so you see this button right here, it's pretty straightforward. Pay your taxes and other liabilities. All right, so when it comes time to do this, and there are due dates that you're gonna to have to follow depending on your company, the size of your company, the amount of your payroll deposits. Now, just a little clarification, a payroll deposit, when I say that, what I mean by that is when you issue a paycheck to an employee, you are withholding income tax, Social Security, Medicare, other taxes, state income tax, et cetera. All right, so a portion of what you're gonna to owe to the government is the amount that you are holding back from their paycheck. And a portion of it is gonna be an expense to your company. So let's say that I get paid $1,000 in a paycheck and 150 of that, uh, $150 is withheld from my pay. All right, so the company is withholding that. So let me take an example here. Let's say that I get paid $1,000 and $150 is withheld from my pay for income tax, Social Security, Medicare, et cetera. Okay, the company is an agent for the government, so to speak. So uh, the company is withholding that amount from my paycheck and they have to give it over to the government. Okay, so that's what a payroll deposit is, is you pay that amount over to the government. And there are some company expenses where you have to match the expense, et cetera. Now, QuickBooks, when you have uh, the basic payroll service, uh, will calculate this, have the withholding tables, withhold all this from the paychecks, and then you have to go in and pay this over to the government. All right, so that's what this is gonna show you here is pay liability. So uh, what you don't wanna do is say, okay, we owe the government $1,000 and you just go in and go to banking, write checks and pay the government $1,000. You don't wanna do it that way. You wanna follow this process of going to pay liabilities, which I clicked on there. And when you're running payroll through QuickBooks, you're gonna see this screen that says, uh, pay taxes and other liabilities. So this is gonna keep track of the due dates, the time period, uh, and what you have to pay. All right, so this is the main area you're gonna be looking on this pay liabilities tab. Now you can click these amounts and you can see what makes up this total amount. And it's gonna show you every single paycheck, uh, each employee and the amount withhold or withheld, okay? Now for this purpose, what I wanna show you is uh, not necessarily checking the amounts to make sure they're all right. They should be right, but it's good just to check those amounts before you make the payroll deposit. But what you wanna do is you just wanna check this off, okay? So you say, I'm gonna pay this federal 941, uh, 944, 943. This represents the federal income tax withholding as well as Social Security and Medicare, all right? Now, there's gonna be some other state amounts depending on what state you're in, and then there's gonna be the federal unemployment tax, which is this federal 940. I'm just gonna focus on this one for now just to show you how to properly do this. All right, so you check off the amount you're gonna pay. Uh, for federal income taxes, you're gonna to go to the EFTPS website to make your payroll deposit. All right, so we check that off. We're gonna click view and pay, and it's gonna show you here, okay, bank account checking, 
uh, the amount it says to print. Now I'll get to that in just a minute, but it is showing the amounts that are going to be paid. And I want to show you here in just a minute what this does and why it's important to do it this way. All right, so if we uncheck this, we don't want this to be printed because we're going online and paying this through the EFTPS website. All right, so what I do, I type in EFT for the check, the check number. That's electronic funds transfer. That's just in general the way I do this. You can type in EFTPS, you can type in debit, you can type in you know, whatever really you want to, but you're not gonna print this check. You don't want it to be printed because it's coming out electronically, okay? All right, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit save and close, and you have now paid this 941 amount. So you'll see this payroll liability payment summary, and it's gonna show you, okay, here's the amount uh, that you're gonna pay, uh, or that you did pay, you hit close and we go back over here and you'll see that it's now not in these liabilities, these amounts to pay. So you want to follow this process so that you're, you're getting these amounts out of QuickBooks, you're clearing them out. Here's why it's important. I want to show you this is, this is from an accounting standpoint. All right, if I go to reports and I go to company and financial, I go down to balance sheet standard. All right, and let me pull up a balance sheet. I'm gonna say, yeah, 1215 should be good. Okay, so if I go down to my liabilities section, you're gonna see this section, payroll liabilities, and you're gonna see these amounts that have to be paid for payroll liabilities. Now, QuickBooks is automatically calculating this. So every time you run a paycheck and you withhold amounts out of an employee's paycheck, that becomes a liability for you. And what that means is that you owe that money to the government, all right? So you owe that money to somebody else. It's just like a debt. It's a lie. It's called a liability. All right. Now, when you pay that liability, when you go in and you follow the process I just showed you in paying those deposits, it's going to reduce these amounts. Okay. So let me see here if I go to 1214 and we go to, okay. So you'll see here the federal withholding 398 and let's see that should be it and there's some other amounts in here as well payroll liabilities okay so if i go back to 1215 okay you're going to see that that amount the federal withholding disappears because we paid that liability just a few minutes ago okay so this is why it's important this is not necessarily an expense to the company the amount you withhold but it is a liability. And so it's important to follow this process to keep your financial statements correct. Okay, I went over a lot in this video and uh, this can be very confusing. So feel free to leave a comment or a question below the video. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. I, I walk you through in a lot of detail, not only how to use QuickBooks, this is when you become a member of the QuickBooks University, but also a lot of these other aspects of it, like I'm talking about in this video of really how to understand this and why you're doing certain things and how this affects your financial statements. Head over there now, become a member. Would love to have you join qbuniversity.org.